Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that we got for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, which is now available on both the Nintendo Switch and on PC. And today I wanted to go over the brand new special rewards layer armor that we got thanks to the latest event quest, which became available just today. So if you don't necessarily know how to get your event quest or how to necessarily get your free rewards, make sure you make your way down to either the Steelworks or Elgato Make your way down to the courier and speak to that little silly cat that's always standing there. Uh, go all the way down to the add-ons option and basically activate it to see if there's anything labeled in white. If it is, that basically means that you haven't claimed it. If it's gray, that means that you already have. You're going to be able to get free rewards, free item packs, anything along those lines. One of the brand new event quests that you're going to have available there is called Flash of Inspiration, which is going to be giving you this brand new special layered armor. Uh, so once you go ahead and claim that you make your way down to the quest board and check out the brand new green tab which of course is the brand new event quest tab uh, this is where on the master rank side of things you're going to be able to get all the brand new event quests which are now part of monster hunter ice sunbreak the latest addition to it is of course a master rank four star quest called flash of inspiration against an astalos in the arena now, as far as for the quest itself, is not necessarily all that difficult. Uh, Astalos now and Master Rank isn't necessarily that much of a challenge. He still has a couple of interesting attacks that are a little bit dangerous one way or another. But for the most part, if you kind of avoid his um, kind of like zip zag uh, lightning attacks that he does, he does like a straight up charge attack when he's kind of like powered up. That attack though is easily avoidable since he does kind of charge up. It does kind of have like a specific noise to it. So if you kind of are paying attention to that, looking out for it, you're not necessarily going to be in too much danger. And ultimately the normal master rank version of Astalos is not all that dangerous. Uh, the afflicted version of him is a bit more dangerous, uh, certainly hits way harder and has more resistances. Uh, this one, you're going to be able to like paralyze it. No problem. Knock it down. He became mountable in one of my specific hunts. So it wasn't that much of a challenge in it of itself. So once you're actually done with the hunt, what you are going to want to do is make sure you check out your quest rewards tab, because there you're going to see in the quest bonus rewards, a blue little book that's rarity 10. And this is the item that you certainly want to pick up. Uh, it's called the light foreign drawing. It says that the paper scribbled with some obscure drawings from foreign words and the single word is legible, Lian. Now this one, you're actually going to need five different versions of this specific item. Now, um, it's all RNG based, of course. I ended up getting, uh, I had to do it three specific times this hunt. The first time I got one, the second time I got two, and the third time I ended up getting two again. So maybe two is the actual cap, so you might get just forced into having to do it three specific times. Although there is that off chance that you might end up getting it three times, and, uh, you know, you only have to do it twice if you, the next hunt you actually end up getting two. Ultimately, it's all RNG, so based on the rewards, that's how many times you're going to have to do this specific quest. Not that big of a problem, like I mentioned before. Astalos, not that big of a challenge. Now, once you've collected all five, now what you're going to want to do is make your way down to the smithy, to the forge, upgrade, special layered armor option, and tab to the right. This is where you're going to have the option to be able to see the special layered armor uh, this one doesn't necessarily have a normal armor option this is something that i touched upon in a previous video where i spoke about the lian armor this is a really popular video that people didn't necessarily know much about the history of this armor set which we're going to talk about in a little bit but essentially now it requires you not only to have the light foreign drawings five separate items of those so of course the three separate hunts that you're most likely going to end up doing are going to give you those rewards but you're also going to need master rank astalos parts uh, so you're going to need eight points worth of that remember each one of the monstrous parts are valued differently so you're just going to make sure you need uh, all of those but if you hunted it three times if you hunted astalos three specific times you should have more than enough pieces and once you're done crafting that you're going to have your brand new lian armor uh, ready to go Leon vest gloves hat whatever all of that really good stuff I like the way it looks of course you're going to be able to set up the colors uh, however it is that you want mine came out white because that is the setup that I use now uh, but uh, you know ultimately it's a really good looking armor I can easily tell 
that the separate pieces are going to be Fashion Hunter favorites. Uh, that hat looks very good. Uh, the skirt looks very good as well. Uh, so all of that is going to be pretty popular for Fashion Hunters, uh, the way they're going to set that up. Now, if you don't necessarily know the history of it, I'm not going to really fully go over it, but I did touch upon it in the video. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for that. But essentially, this is a Monster Hunter Frontiers armor that was introduced very early on in that game's life. It was one of the really popular around the time that Espinas was added into the game. Uh, so it became a rather popular armor set at the time. Now, one of the things that was added for this armor back in Frontiers was the fact that there was, I believe, a rapier, a uh, sword type, and I believe a gun as well. There might have been a bow as well, if I remember correctly, or maybe a sword, one of those things. But there were some weapon layered options as well, alongside with this specific armor that, of course, now in Sunbreak, we do not get access to for whatever reason. Uh, so maybe they're probably going to add them in later. That would be probably a vague guess on my part i don't necessarily know if they will choose to do that since it would have been pretty actually great for them to give us the rewards and actually go ahead and uh you know just let us have that layered armor uh layer weapon option but of course layer weapons are not necessarily available in the game right now for whatever reason we just recently got the um uh, notification from capcom that free title update number two it's going to have a couple of quality of life improvements alongside with it, just like free title update number one. Therefore, there is that implication that layered weapons could potentially end up getting added. Not maybe in that this specific update, but maybe on the next one as well. They have been listening to fan feedback. This is one of the biggest things people have been asking for. So maybe layered weapons does end up being a thing sooner rather than later. But as far as this Liam armor is concerned, special layered armor is concerned, uh, I think it looks pretty damn good. Ultimately, it's going to be one of those fashion hunter armors that people are going to be very happy about. And they're going to mess around with a little bit to come up with the best combination that they appear. Uh, do remember that once again, I keep reiterating this, but I have to keep reminding people uh, September 15th, Tokyo Game Show at 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time, 10 a.m. East Coast Time. Capcom will be hosting their brand new presentation. This is where we're going to be able to get brand new information for free title update number two as to what monsters, what quality of life improvements, perhaps a brand new map. Anything along those lines will be added in. So make sure you tune in for that as I'll be covering it, but make sure you watch it as well. But that's about all the information that I have for you guys today. If you are brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya!